Alrighty there YouTube, um, today we got, as you can see, sink that's backed up, and uh, I have five little girls, so the sink's always getting backed up with something. Um, this one's been backed up for a couple of days now, and I just had not had time to get back here and mess with it, but we're going to do it today. Um, usually what I can do with one like this is there'll be some kind of toy or something down in the trap, and um, I can just take a pair of long needle nose and fish it out but this one here we just haven't been able to do that so um, we've tried plunging it and not sure what's in there so what this video is going to be about we are actually get some light on it gonna take the trap out so the, I've already cleaned not I completely cleaned it out as you can see but just enough got a car wash bucket stick it underneath there and uh I'll try to set the camera up here some way so you can kind of halfway see it. We're just going to, the video is going to be about pulling the trap out. Uh, that's probably pretty easy for most people. Obviously, I can do it. So, um, but that's what we're going to do is show you taking the trap out and seeing what's clogging it up. Okay, so uh, um, I got I enlisted the help of my number three daughter, Bailey. She's holding the camera for me. So, uh, you know. I wanted to get, I got a car wash bucket because the sink's full of water and you're going to get some water. And this is really kind of hard to mess up. I use, these are Irwin Vice Grip brand, the GV12 channel locks. It's not really channel locks or slip joint pliers. But um, you can use a, a pipe wrench or whatever you got, I guess. I like these. But it's just a simple, you might have to hold it. But just got to break that thing loose. And then unscrew it. Once you get it broke loose with the pliers you can usually take them off with your hand the rest of the way. There's that one. Then you have one in the back. The same thing. And you can use smaller ones. I mean it's not for the leverage that I use these. The bigger thing is getting the jaws open wide enough. You may want to wear gloves. It's kind of gross. You saw the water in the sink. It's kind of nasty. And you're just going to pull that straight down. And you can kind of see in here a little bit. There's something wrapped around in there. I'll reach in with my fingers and grab that popsicle stick. Stick in the trap. I think that's where it all stemmed from. Started with that. And here, the sludge got caught up in there. But now, if you come up here and look, the sink still stopped up. Which means we have something uh, stuck in there before the trap. There's some plastic or something. It smells lovely. So if you look down here, you can see there's something in there. I don't know exactly what that is just yet. That's still in there. Tape. Uh, see, so there's still something in there. At this point, I'll just take, you know, you can take a... I don't know if I got anything in my tool bag quite long enough, but you just push it straight down. Whatever it is, there's no bend now. So you just push it straight on out. All that water drain out. I may have to go out to the garage and get some longer screwdriver or something like that, but here's what we've got kind of drained out. Now, because I'm fat and lazy, don't want to crawl underneath there. Look, I'm going to stand up here. Oh, look at there. Looks like a toothpaste cap down in there. So we have a popsicle stick, some plastic wrappers, and looks like a toothpaste cap. And if you'll shine the light down, the camera right down, the look straight down. You can see that toothpaste cap down there. So, 
Now what we may have to do is go get a pair of long needle nose. Fish that, that toothpaste cap out of there. Let's see if we can get it with my coins. Oh, yeah, there we go. Toothpaste cap. And there's some, looks like some ponytail holders. Sit down in there. Okay, now we got that cleaned out. Um, all I got left to do, I got to put it back together and then clean up my mess, which won't be a pretty video cleaning up the mess probably. Get me a towel, Matthew. Yeah, see this stuff down here? I don't want to put my leg in that. I'm going to go ahead and wipe that up. What is that? That's sludgy water out of the sink. So, it's pretty easy to put it back. Um, you just take it and pretty much the same way it came off. You kind of want to examine, see there's these old plastic seals. You kind of want to examine those, make sure they're not broken. But it just kind of goes up. And I like to do the back one first because that's going to give it the fit that it needs. Can you see underneath there? And so, uh, I'm just getting it kind of snugged up by hand. See, that kind of puts the pipe here, because this side here will slide up and down, but see, now it won't move, because it's fastened up here. So if I tighten this side first, then I'll struggle to get that other one tightened up to get it into place where it needs. How about doing the back one first? This one just goes right back together. And then I use my pliers. Just, yeah, you don't have to crank down on it, just to kind of get it snug. That's where it sits against that little plastic seal that's in there, the O-ring thing, uh, snugly, because that's what's going to keep it from leaking. It's not like a pressure fitting on a brake line or anything like that, where you got to have it tight. Uh, you just have to have it snugged up, and it's not going to go anywhere. It's not a moving car or anything like that, just water's running through it. You just need it snugged up so that that seal is good. Oh, we do have a leak. I'm right up here. Snug it up a bit more. And no more leak. Okay, this is Bailey. She was our camera person today. Um, but just to sum up, I got a phone call. That's what interrupted the video. She's cleaning up the rest of the sink. Um, that thing's really easy to do. If you ever have something like a wedding ring or something like that, go down there. Don't run any water. Just remove that trap. It's real easy. Anybody could do it. If I could do it, you could do it. Even Bailey here could do it. Of course, Bailey probably could do it better than I could do it. She's pretty smart. So that's all there is. Special thank you to Bailey for helping with the uh with the camera and uh that's it.